Hi, Al at Hanksers in Daytona Beach, Florida. Got a really, really neat guest on the floor today. 1970, only year they ever made it. It was a Trans Am series back then. It's called an AAR, stands for All-American Racer. Uh, it was actually campaigned by Dan Gurney. That's where it came from, AAR, Dan Gurney. Uh, it was the time whenever the Camaros and Mustangs and uh, Mopars, you know, Dodges and uh, uh, Plymouths were out there battling door to door in the Trans Am racing series. And this was the one car that uh, Mopar did campaign through 7071. Um, it's just a duplicate of the cars that they marketed for that Trans Am series. Very, very rare car. Uh, fiberglass hood, um, no springs on the hood. Mopar had a uh, bullet now to remove them because a lightweight fiberglass hood would tend to curve. And you can notice that this car does not have curvature on the hood because the springs have been removed and you can prop it up with a stick, whatever you want to hold it up with to work on the engine compartment, which really doesn't need much because it is a Mopar. Um, but it is a six pack 340. They use uh, three two barrel Holley carburetors, 1050 CFM combined airflow for them has a standard high flow cast iron exhaust that they came with. This particular car has power steering and power brakes. If you notice the car is not painted underneath the engine compartment, all the stickers are intact. Has a high flow radiator in it. This particular car has 391 posi gears in it. Uh, fantastic car, all original underneath the hood. It has the original fender tag that the uh, Mopar did put all the designations for the uh, options on the car. And it also has Trans Am only, and it is an additional tag that says Trans Am right on the tag. That's what this car was built for. Came with hood pins, came with a flat black hood, just as you see it. And this one, as you know, fits really, really nice the whole way around. It's not all lumped up like a lot of them are from the springs being on it. Uh, great, great car. Um, the gaps on the hood, nice as can be. Uh, you saw the hood open. It's a real cold air induction system on it for the six pack setup that they have on it. Um, original Mopar hood pins, uh, just as they came from the factory. The um, cars had a lot of performance to them. They rated them at 290 horsepower, not even close to what this car's output was, the same as the uh, Chevrolet or the Ford, the Boss 302s, they were all rated at 290 horsepower. In reality, they were all right knocking on a 400 door, and that's before they modified them for race purposes. Front end, the grill area is all 100% original, just as nice as can be. Front fog lights are, are nice, they're not chipped up or marked up. The chrome on the bumper is gorgeous, as you can see. Front valance isn't marked up or chipped up in any way. Uh, this, by the way, is a real correct 39,000 mile car. Uh, we have all the uh, documentation, which we'll show you. Um, the original owner's documentation of the vehicle. Window sticker, bill of sale, everything for this car. Um, there's nothing on the front end that you could possibly fault the car for. It's just as gorgeous a car as you could ever find, and as it was when it was new. Okay, going down the driver's side of our AAR uh, Cuda. You can see the fitment of the uh, uh, side marker lights are just, it's just perfect as can be. Uh, this is a correct striping for this particular vehicle. This is the way they came. You didn't get a car stripe delete. It came with the AAR striping on it. 15 inch rally wheels with discs in the front. Uh, BFG tires on this particular car. Uh, it has an option, uh, tinted uh, windshield in it. Uh, original wipers, original arms, everything on this car is as it came from the factory. Uh, and this is supposed to be semi-flat black, not, not gloss black, by the way, from the factory. It's the way they came. And it matches the, the semi-flat black striping. As you notice the way the uh, fender uh, conforms onto the door and the rocker panels, there's no overhang. The fitment is as nice, as straight as possibly can be. The gaps are gorgeous front to back. It's a car that's never been distressed or hurt in any manner, in any way. It's never been bumped or banged or wrecked or 
uh, compromised in any way. Uh, color key mirrors, which are also part of the package. Uh, your window sweeps are all absolutely as they were when they were new. Um, drip rail molding, no dents, no marks, no chips on the glass anywhere. Uh, all the rubbers are nice and soft on the car. Door handles um, function as they should. Real nice chrome on the door handles. Uh, these pipes, by the way, were AAR and Trans Am Challenger only. Uh, they came out the side in front of the uh, rear wheels, not out the back like the conventional uh, Cudas and Challengers had them. Um, no marks on the roof. Uh, you can't see it from the photos, but this actually is a metallic orange. It does have uh, uh, some metallic in it. It has a real nice pop to it, especially when you see it in the sun. Gorgeous color, absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, 15-inch uh, rallies in the back, a little wider in the back than in the front. I believe they were sevens in the um, um, front, eights in the back. Um, center caps are correct, and they're all the, the uh, argent finish on them is just the way it should be from the factory. Tinted glass all around in this car. Rear defroster in this car, which is also an option, which you'll see on the window sticker, which we do have all the documentation for the car. Um, wood grain steering wheel in the car. There's no cracks or chips or marks in it. It does have a rally instrument cluster also. Um, all the gauges function as they should. Everything in this car works as it should. Uh, absolutely fantastic car. It's a very rare find to find something this original, this nice. Okay, back into the uh, back of the quarter panels, the same as the uh, uh, the rest of this car. Just laser, laser straight side marker light. Uh, flush mounts as nice as can be. Again, uh, CUDA AAR, All-American Racer, uh, testament to Dan Gurney. Uh, rear spoiler, just the way they came from the factory. All the uh, lenses in the rear are nice and clear and, and not chipped up or discolored or uh, cloudy at all. The plastic is as nice as it was when it was new. Again, the rear valance has no cutouts for the exhaust system. They came out in front of the uh, rear tires on the uh, Trans Am Series cars. Uh, bumperettes, uh, fitment of the bumper, the uh, uh, chrome on the bumper and everything you can see is just as nice as can be. There's not a deviation on any of the gaps or any of the uh, uh, fitment of the uh, trim pieces, the chrome, the software around your uh, back end of the um, semi-flat uh, surface in the back to match the uh, the hood and the striping and the spoiler on the car. Uh, great looking car. Hard to see in the video, but the, uh, uh, because of the spoiler mainly, uh, looking at it from the back, but the fitment of the uh, rear deck lid is just as nice as the hood. It's, it's, it's beautiful. The gaps are nice as can be. Uh, nice and even uh, both sides. Again, the AAR CUDA designation. Side marker light, you can't even feel that it's there. That's how well it fits. Uh, quarter panel does the same way. This car is one of those cars that you kind of look to find a fault or a defect in it and you can't. Um, again, border panel of the door. Look, I mean it's just as smooth and straight and nice as can be. Uh, windows, all the software on this side, the same as the other side. Uh, the, the, the car, the uh, your seals, everything on it is just as nice as could be. Um, door panels, seats, carpeting, dash, everything is as nice as can be. Door needs a little drop of oil. Not so many years since it's been used. Um, just a fantastic looking car. I can't, I can't find anything to, to say that there's a defect. Door same way, we're going to go on to the uh, rocker panels and onto the front fender. Look, there's nothing. There's, there's no, it, it, you couldn't possibly ask for a production vehicle to have a better fitment than this vehicle does. Looking down both sides, it's literally laser straight. You cannot find a, a deviation in any of the body panels, uh, in any of the fitment of the, uh, the panels, panel to panel fitment. Um, the car is just as straight and nice as you could possibly ever find one. Back up front at our side marker light there, and it's the same as the other three, just as nice as can be. Um, very, very rare find to find something of this quality to this degree of perfection. Um, it, it has all the documentation, which we'll show you. 
um, from the day the car was bought up until it was sold to us. Uh, the car is just a, a one of a kind to find a low mile original AAR CUDA in the best color combination that you could possibly have with all the documentation. Uh, perfectly well optioned car. Uh, it's just, just a fantastic vehicle. Uh, we have it here at Hangsters. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't sold in the last couple days. This car's that nice. Uh, it, it's one of those cars that uh, anyone that looks at this car, anyone that has an interest in a real collectible piece of American automotive racing history really needs to look at this car. They really do. It's a rare car. It's a Cuda, not a Challenger. It's worth a little bit more money. Uh, and the racing history that this car has in America uh, with the a uh, AARs and the Trans Ams and the Boss 302s and the Z28 Camaros, it's just unparalleled. They, they spent a lot of time out in the racetrack banging heads and um, it, it, the American public spent a lot of time on TV watching them, you know, so it's a car that someone should really take a look at as an investment. It's available at Hangsters. Okay, we're underneath our one year only uh, AAR CUDA. These cars are so special, it was unbelievable. It is a Trans Am only motor, special blocks, special heads, special valve train. Uh, everything on this car was special. Everything. Everything. Um, as it left the factory, heavy duty front sway bar, heavy duty torsion bars, heavy duty front disc brakes, heavy duty spindles tighter steering system. This, unlike a lot of the Mopars, wasn't made to go in a straight line fast. It was made to handle. It was made for a road course. It was made for a specific purpose, to go out and compete in Trans Am racing, which it did. Uh, the car is all original underneath. It's not something that's been uh, uh, redone. It didn't need to be. Um, the floor pans are all original. Tranny, rear end, uh, engine, all numbers matching. Um, just as nice as could possibly be. Torque flight transmission. It was also available with the four speed. This one particular one has a torque flight. Uh, two and an eighth inch pipes coming off the cast iron header style exhaust manifolds. Um, power steering, power brakes on this car. Air conditioning was never available on a Trans Am car. Never. Um, all the lines are original. Uh, brake lines uh, just as they were when they were new. Fuel line the same way. Floor pans are just as intact and perfect as they were when they were new. All your structural supports underneath um, are all nice and clean. There's no marks on the subframes anywhere. Uh, it has a new speedometer cable on it. Um, the car is just the way it left the factory in 1970. And we're moving back through it and I don't see anything any different toward the back than we just went over in the front. This car is as it left the factory new in 1970. Okay, going back further in the car, the uh, rear floor pan, same as the front, uh, untouched as they were installed from the uh, factory by the Chrysler uh, uh, Corporation. And the ones mess with anything, uh, heavy duty torque boxes for the uh, leaf springs in the rear, reverse flow mufflers, Trans Am Series cars only, uh, exhaust went into the muffler, came right back out toward the front and out the sides in front of the rear wheel. Heavy duty drive shaft, heavy duty U joints, eight and three quarter posi rear end. This particular one is a 391 ratio. Uh, heavy duty finned rear drum brakes uh, from the factory. That's the way they came with Trans Am cars. Uh, the original equipment shocks as it came with. Uh, real nice arch to the springs, both sides. Uh, very low mile car, very low usage car. And just an original, original car. Still has the original factory tie down. Um, brackets on the uh, rear frame. Thank God nobody tore them like they do a lot of them whenever they uh, haul the vehicles. Floor pans in the back, trunk pan, everything original, not redone, and it, it's just a, a flawless car. It's just the way it left the factory. Um, gas tank, no dents, no marks, no scrapes. Car's new, guys. Okay, one thing about some of our very special cars. Uh, first thing that everybody asks whenever we have a kind of a one-off car is, do you have any documentation for it? Well, how much documentation do you need? How about everything from the first owner to the second owner 
and every piece of paperwork that ever came with the car from when it was new at the delivery date. It was the original owner's manual, not a reproduced one, anything. Bill of sale, original uh, uh, registration card, uh, receipts for the car, original pictures of the car way back when. Um, registration cards up through the years. Uh, we have the original window sticker. Here's a copy of the original window sticker. Um, all the documentation on the car itself. Um, not one build sheet, two build sheets. There's one, here's the second one. It has a complete Govier report. There's a third one, I take that back. We have three, not just two, but three. There's the original vehicle sales order, buyer's order from when it was purchased brand spank and new. Um, all the owners are listed uh, uh, in our paperwork. Here's a complete Govier report with the uh, serial numbers broke down on the car. Um, again, the documentation for the, uh, the owners of the vehicle. Plymouth uh, supplement to the uh, AAR car. Breakdown of all the um, uh, codes on your uh, fender tag telling you the options of the car. Uh, there's the original window sticker of the car. Copy of a build sheet. Uh, there's a copy of the original uh, uh, registration or um, a bill of sale for the car. And again, another Govier report. Um, it's in the Chrysler registry. Uh, any paperwork that you would want to document this car as an authentic, um, numbers correct, AAR CUDA, we have. It's all here, everything. It's, this car is totally documented from day one up until now. You got one of one. There can't be another one with this much paperwork in this color combination with these options available. And you can buy it at Hanksters. We got the only one.